So we're going to start with just the deck first uh, and the belt. So we have a, what's called an MDF, which is a multi-density foam. Uh, it's double coated. You're going to find this belt to last uh, as long as the in, in the industry as anyone else out there. This machine that we're on now is actually the Horizon T101. It's really designed as a walking machine. You know, I'm 5'10", weigh 175 pounds. Uh, and I, I know you guys are impressed with all of my muscle and everything, but I'm just kidding. I weigh 175, and, and, and there's plenty of room on here for me. You know, we're looking at a 20-inch uh, wide deck. I think uh, the length on it's approximately 55 inches, which is pretty standard for a treadmill that only sells for uh, 750, 800 bucks. So you're really getting your money's worth. And if your goal is to just simply do some walking, uh, you're not a serious runner. You can do without, uh, you know, a lot of the bells and whistles and the distractions that may come with some of the other models. Uh, I certainly think that this is a, a machine to take a look at. Now, another thing that we want to look at is the is the Horizon motor. Oftentimes, when folks are purchasing a treadmill, one of the questions that that they ask me, and they say, "Brad, well, what about the motor, right?" And we look at uh, some of the, the, the specs of the uh, various machines out there. Some say, okay, well, we have two fans that actually keep the motor cool. Well, that's all well and good, but guess what? Uh, Horizon doesn't require any fans on the motor. And the reason for that, Johnson is a vertically integrated company. Well, Brad, what does vertical integration mean? That simply means from the factory, the components at Johnson are actually designed in-house. So that means we have engineers making the rollers, making the bearings, designing those, designing our own components with the plastics, the molds, uh, the drive system, which includes the motor, uh, the gears, the sensors, the circuitry board. So everything operates together on a Johnson machine or on a Horizon machine owned by Johnson Fitness uh, as a complete system, as a unit. Some of the other machines that are on the market that you may be looking at, uh, they may purchase actually the, uh, the drive system from one manufacturer. They may purchase the circuitry board from another manufacturer. And so they're putting all of these things together, trying to make it work as a system. You don't have that on a Horizon. So it does feature uh, the Johnson drive system. Uh, we use bigger magnets inside of the, the Johnson motor. It turns slower at a slower RPM. It's very powerful. It runs much quieter, much cooler. If we turn this machine on, which we'll do in a little bit in the demonstration, you'll notice a tremendous difference. Uh, it's very responsive. Uh, it's tracked through um, actually an analog system on this one. So, um, and then another thing to point out before we move on up this system is the quality of the parts at Johnson. Because, because the team at Johnson uh, really has stepped up their game and they've committed to be a leader now, uh, an industry leader in the fitness business. They're only going to use the best of the best. And so what we're seeing now in the components from the rollers and the bearings and the motors and the circuitry board all the way from the ground up in order to meet that vision that this company has, we're seeing the quality of the components uh, and the parts that are used in this equipment to just be a step above and beyond in what we're seeing in some of, of the other machines. I'm going to give you kind of a bit of a tour of just how this is going to work uh, from a user standpoint when you're actually on the machine. So with the T101, uh, as Brad said, it is going to be mostly for people who are going to be looking for a machine that's reliable to do some, some great walking um, with this. And there's a couple of things that I really like about this machine. When you start up, you have a display here. It's pretty straightforward. It's very easy to understand. I was only on this for a few minutes and I, I was able to navigate my way through here. Um, when I get on the machine here and hit start, I'm immediately given an opportunity to enter in my weight. And once I have that done, then I have a choice of several different programs that I can look out for. And uh, on this machine, there's going to be a manual program. There's going to be a program for steps.
calories distance and then of course interval training if you want to alternate between going very fast and very, going very slow for your walking training uh, so once you go ahead and pick your I'm just gonna pick steps in here and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to do 1,000 steps and hit enter and then I'm going to select my speed. Now this is one place that this machine I feel excels over some of the competition. With this, all of the miles per hour from one mile per hour all the way up to the max of 10 is right here on the side. So all I need to do is press the button and boom, I've got my, seat, my speed set. It's not a matter of other machines where you have to type in and then hit enter and, and you're sweating and you're trying to type that all and hit enter and, and, and do that. It's just a simple one step button boom I've got my speed set then I can go ahead and do the same thing for my incline again 1% the whole way up to 10% so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick 1% just as a sample hit enter hit start and I'm ready to start my workout so it's very straightforward great option for someone who's just looking for a machine that is not difficult to use um, on here if I want to switch my speed I just hit one button and I'm slowing down again so uh, same thing with the incline, I can just switch and, and good. Now once I'm on here, there is a fan, so I can hit that. It's going to have air coming directly into my face to keep you nice and cool. And there's also going to be a clip that you can hook to your clothing so that if you were going to trip or, you know, you just take a misstep, everybody does it boom that comes off and then the machine is automatically going to stop for you so that you're safe and not in a position where you're rolling off the back of your treadmill okay I'm just gonna grab my phone here another really neat feature of the T101 is that it is able to connect with your phone so uh, all I have here is just a simple iPhone I think it's a couple models old it's not one of the latest and greatest models of, of any sort but all I need to do is hook in my iPhone right here and hook it, uh, hook it directly into the console and it's going to allow me to play music directly out of these speakers so a qu different from you know having your phone having your earphones on having to hold your phone it's much simpler just to go ahead and put it right there I can navigate through my phone have the music going through the speakers and uh, just enjoy it that way so there's two speakers here. There's also some really nice uh, wide open containers here. So you'll notice I put my headphones in. Water bottle, TV remote, any of those types of things could go in those uh, consoles there. And then there's additional space here for more of your, your goodies that you need while you're working out. Um, finally, if you're a reader, you know, I like to, every once in a while I read, especially if you're doing walking, maybe you have to study your report for work or something. You can just put it right there, do your workout, read through it's not going to fall off so really nice system overall so for more information on this or any of the other models check out www.treadmill-ratings-reviews.com thank you very much